Hey Dad, here's my little generator, like the the Newman design. I built it um, out of popsicle sticks and a piece of copper tubing and stuff. And inside, this is a a one inch or two inch by one inch by one inch thick square magnet, and I turned it into a circle. But I wanted to get it inside the actual coil wrappings to see if it actually puts out more power. And I also did that guy's theory of parallel wrapping. So I actually have 15 turns going outward with a total of, oops, with a total of 30 going up. So whatever that is, 15 times 30, that's how many turns is on this thing. And it's all in parallel hookup. So I want you to see how I'm doing this here. It's because the magnet is in the center, what I'm doing is I'm using another magnet right here to actually be attracted to that magnet to spin it when I spin this one. And it works quite well. So let me go ahead and hook this up. Put my camera down for a minute. Put my drill on here. is going to be kind of hard to do. I need that the video thing. What I'm going to do is set the video recorder right here so you can see. But I'll show you. I got my DeWalt drill hooked up to it and I'm going to spin spin this magnet on it and it's turning the inside magnet. As you can see when I spin it, when it lights up the light. That's at 2,000 RPMs and it's putting out 30, 30 volts. So this is like 2 amps at, you know, 30 volts, which it draws it down a little. So it's actually 18 volts, which is putting out. And it's lighting up this light all the way bright. Actually passing specs. Yeah, that's pretty cool, so... And that's using no iron core. That's just regular magnet wire. Open air core. Alright. But that's it. But it, it didn't take too long to build. The wrapping was actually the hardest because I just put every bit of the magnet wire. Um in parallel like I did tens so 10 20 30 I put them all together and stuck some tape around them and then all of it time I got the three rows I put them all together and then just it was like a ribbon and then I just wrapped it so that was a quicker way to wind it and stuff and then I just did all the the solder connections here going into each other but that's it it puts out 30 volts um, pretty good amperage too and stuff coming off of it But let me know what you think about it uh, Talk to you later